The small mantis that comes out from the egg is called a nymph, and looks almost exactly like its mother except it is a great deal smaller and the wings have not yet appeared. These little nymphs grow in a very unique way as compared to a human or mammal. The body of the little nymph grows larger and as it is so, it outgrows its skeleton. Mantis babies have what is called an exoskeleton, which means that its skeleton is on the outside of its body. These skeletons are flexible and allow for some growth, yet they themselves do not grow. When the insect baby becomes too large, it must shed the exoskeleton which is too small and form a new one. The process of losing the exoskeleton is called molting. Little mantis will lose this exoskeleton as many as 10 times, depending on which type they are. Every time they do this mold, they grow more, until they are as large as they will become. Somehow, nature knows when it is time for the last molding, and they emerge from their last mold with wings which will be thin, transparent and look a great deal like wrinkled fabric. Within several hours they will dry and begin to stretch. The brain mantis will very often attack and eat things much larger than herself, including frogs and lizards. Adult and small mantis will eat anything that does not eat them first. They will kill moths, bees, beetles, and horseflies, which is what makes them a friend to humans. A.M. Arneba the head of NGD creator said from his experience in having mantics for study that mantics are very useful for gardeners. They eat a lot of harmful pests. Praying mantics are really considered a